Hi, this is Arlene. So anyways, um, I just wanted to make a little short video. I'm on my way to do some errands and I'm on the 605 southbound. But um, what I wanted to uh, just say is like when um, you get targeted, I know a lot of people um, have majority of them have said that their families um, target them. So anyways, um, <clears throat> my first encounter with my family was I have a cousin that lives in Chino Hills and what happened was I went over there for Halloween and then I had already been getting the electronic harassment but I was getting it you know we had a kid uh, she had a campfire in the front of her uh, garage on the driveway and you know we were all sitting around the, the campfire and stuff and I kept getting electronic harassment from my younger cousin, which is her younger brother. So anyways, um, he left early because he has, a, him and his girlfriend have a, I think they're married now, have a baby. So they left early because baby, um, it was time to put the baby down. So I noticed he handed, just like in prior, I have another YouTube video, he handed this little black device to my cousin's husband. So, you know, he left and stuff. And I, so then, you know, I was being playful and I was just like, hey, what's, you know, what is that, uh, what's that toy you have that does the shocking? And he was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I go, yeah, I seen David give it to you. And he was just like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. So anyways, you know, I, I just let it go and stuff because I figured I wasn't going to get any information from him. So anyways, um, you know, Halloween progress and stuff like that and it died down. So I was kicking back in the living room with uh, my cousin, my other cousin and her husband, which are his in-laws. And so he went upstairs to his bedroom and stuff. And sure enough, when I was sitting on the couch with my cousin's husband, I got a shock, the electronic craftsman. And I could tell it was coming from the ceiling down. And where I was sitting is where their bed is, their bedroom is, and their bed and nightstand is like right in that area. So um, I went, um, so I was just like, oh, so he's part of it too. So, um, that part of my family that lives out in Chino Hills, uh, they are participants. I have a cousin that had a stroke, so she's kind of out of it, but the rest of her family kind of is in on it. Um, one of my cousins, one of her children, I'm not really sure, but, um, I know it is, um, I think I'm getting hit by that car. So anyways, um, one of her, her daughters, I'm thinking she's not a part of it. I know she's around, but she's, you know, not around a lot. So I'm thinking she doesn't want to be a part of it. I could be wrong. But anyways, um, so that's how I first found out that part of my family was a part of it. Then I went out to eat lunch with my first cousins to a restaurant so we got together and we had lunch and so no no it was Thanksgiving we went for Thanksgiving and so then I noticed okay um, they had their purses and sure enough one by one my two my first cousin and her sister um, I started getting hits from them and so then I was like, okay. And then basically that's how it kind of clicked. Okay, my family is in on it. I believe, I can't, might be mistaken, but I believe that um, my mom might is probably a participant or at least she knows what's going on and is participating. So um, I just thought that that was like kind of odd. And um, so this car is hitting me right here, this one right there. Yeah, that one. And he's been following me. I notice, and I, I'll know because once I stop and they have to go around me,
and if it stops I know it's most likely them whether it's remote or not they know what's going on anyway so um, that's how I kind of figured out my family was in on it and active participants now my brother's in law enforcement I know he knows what's going on and he just keeps his distance I think just to stay neutral in the um, situation and um, so you got cars like this blue one um, they'll go like side by side with you just to like monitor you as part of the surveillance I guess they think I'm um, I'm recording them all but I'm actually making a video so anyways, um, he's in law enforcement. I know he knows what's going on. And he, of course, they're not going to say anything. And when, every time I go to his house, he keeps all the shutters closed. And then uh, one time um, when my uh, uncle had died, which are my first cousin's father, I remember we got together at his house. And I remember specifically that... Um, my uncle's, um, my cousin, he kept all the blinds open and it's not even his house. And he made a point of keeping all the blinds open and he kept looking out the window, like he kept looking out the window and texting and stuff. And they had the front curtains open. I mean, all, everything, every single window with the curtains that had curtains or blinds, everything was open. And you, so you could see inside. And I noticed like surveillance cars parking and stuff like that. And people walking their dogs by, you know, and stuff like that. And then I was just like, okay, so, you know, they're all participants. And then Thanksgiving came and I was at my cousin's house. And then her, my cousin's husband sat and we were talking. Well, the house across the street has a device. This man moved in by himself. So, and it's on other YouTube videos. Um, he, I could tell the device was coming from his house. Well, anyways, as I was getting hit, my cousin's husband was getting hit. And it's the type of hit that you get the tightness to the chest. Well, I was already taking precautions to protect myself. And uh, I could tell, like, he, he could... He was getting hit. You could see it in his face. And he finally got, got up and excused himself to go. Um, and so that's when I, uh, I was just like, oh. So I'm wondering, you know, he's a retired uh, law enforcement too. So he knows what's going on. A lot of my family knows what's going on. It's just the elephant in the room that nobody talks about. So I just wanted to... Um, share that information with you uh, regarding uh, family now I mean it is hurt you could say it is hurtful but at the same time um, you know why they chose to participate I cannot imagine that they were all threatened to participate I don't I don't believe that but you know I could like cut off all my family and not go to any family gatherings and blah 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 but I choose not to. I still go. I know it's going to probably happen. Um, and, you know, that's just it. Now, what they got from me, like a, a, a letter or something, or saying that I'm this way or whatever, I have no idea. And I'm not going to try to figure it out. But you could choose... You could choose to, uh, you know, be... Uh, you know let it affect you and it's going to I mean let me tell you I'm not perfect but um, you can choose to let it affect you or not let it affect you you know I choose not to let it affect me I try I mean I could be devastated this is my family and um, they are doing it to me and these are people that I grew up with you know and they should know me you know they should know me and um, so that's what I'm you know just saying is that they should know me and should know who, you know that I'm their relative and stuff like that so um, I just wanted to say that and of course I'm at the credit union now 
and I got a whole gang of people so we'll see how that goes when I go withdraw my money and um, but yeah so people have like family members that um, do stuff if you could just like let that go and know that it's your family and just um, enjoy the time you have with them I think it would be more beneficial than just cutting yourself off from them because um, I first thought about that and I was just like oh you know what I'll, I'll start my own family and stuff which you know I have started a community of like a family and stuff so anyways I'm at the credit union and I need to get off real quick so I'm gonna leave my purse here we'll see what happens I probably shouldn't but I'm going to